Twitter is facing a, another slew of allegations, this time from a man who used to work at the company. Peter Zacco said Twitter security problems are so flawed, they pose a risk to national security and democracy. CBS News Bay Area's Ann Makovic asked a professor at Cal State East Bay what this all means. If you can start with telling us exactly what allegations we're talking about here. For sure. It appears that a whistleblower from inside Twitter uh, who left the company um, in January is claiming that uh, Twitter has been less than honest with the government about uh, the amount of bots that it has and about some of its privacy procedures. So how would that affect the average Twitter user? Should we be concerned about this? Should we be upset about this if, of course, the allegations are true? I think all Twitter users should be very concerned about this. Uh, critics have long noted that big tech companies such as Twitter are really unaccountable to users. They, they operate in an opaque structure that the users do not have oversight. Or, sorry, an opaque structure where the users do not have oversight. As a result, uh, as these companies collect user data, it's not really clear what they're doing with this data, how well they protect this data. And uh, that can lead to serious problems. As we found out recently with the Dobbs decision, for example, uh, some states where abortion was not previously illegal will now be illegal. And there is potential legal implications for folks uh, who've Googled or, or tweeted about abortions or inquired about abortions. All right, so let's take these two issues separately. First, the bots. What, what are the implications of that? Um, and is this just something that this is a problem that Twitter wasn't able to control, that you know other people are using the platform this way and they're not able to get a handle on it? The bots is interesting for uh, numerous reasons. Uh, the proliferation of bots gives the impression that there are more users and more activity on the platform. Uh, than there actually is. Uh, that's really important because uh, sh that's one of the metrics shareholders look at to determine their investments. This is where the case of Elon Musk can become very important because uh, he's long contended that they've lied about the amount of bots on their platform. Meanwhile, Twitter has been, tell been claiming that it's combating bots and reducing the amount of bots and is aware of bots. Uh, so this whistleblower seems to be arguing that Twitter has been lying or at least misleading uh, the public and Elon Musk. And as you're saying that that would be beyond just that, you know, we have people from a foreign entity or whatever trying to create bots to sway public opinion. This is something that could actually benefit Twitter itself in that it makes their company look more powerful than it is, that more people are engaging. Absolutely. Um, all of the above. Twitter uh, derives some benefits from having more users and more engagement. And those who create bots have a series of purposes and advantages that they garner from using bots. And if Twitter is not aware of what the who's creating those bots or what their purpose is, uh, that opens up a whole slew of possibilities for, for what's being done on the platform that they seem unaware of. And then it's a question of does Twitter know about this and is specifically hiding it, or is this something that would be impossible for them to know whether certain accounts or bots are real people? Yeah, and this is where the whistleblower is particularly important, right? The whistleblower is claiming that, that Twitter is aware of these bots and is either unable or unwilling to do anything about it. Uh, so this is going to necessitate a lot more investigation to determine whether Twitter is just incapable of dealing with this problem or does not want to deal with it. So how important could this whistleblower be to the case uh, of Elon Musk? We're assuming this person will eventually be called to testify. I would imagine that this whistleblower will be brought in to testify. Um, you know, can't say for certain. Um, but it does, at least in the court of public opinion, give a lot of weight to Elon Musk's claims that he was backing out of this deal because uh, Twitter was being less than honest with him and the public privacy. What concerns should we have about that? I mean, you know, in some ways, when you go on social media, you sort of, um, you know, you're giving yourself, you're, you're giving your stuff up. But is there any extra concerns that we should know about besides, you know, you know that I liked this or followed this? Yes. Uh, when we use um, a social media platform or a search engine or anything else, we, the user, are giving up a degree of privacy uh, by allowing people or companies or other groups to have a window into our lives. But where the problem becomes is it's not just Twitter that 
is collecting your data. It's also sharing your data and tracking you across other platforms. Um, that information can be given to other platforms or people or taken by nefarious actors. And so it becomes a question of how much privacy do users want to have? Um, who do they want to have access to their data? Oftentimes they don't get to decide. And it's not really, um, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of reasons why we have privacy, uh, why there's so many privacy rights in our, in our constitution, for example. Uh, what's legal today may be legal tomorrow. Maybe you don't want to be um, publicly known for doing something that's illegal tomorrow. Uh, maybe you're the target of, say, a stalker or something like that. Maybe you want your data protected from that individual. Um, there's a whole host of reasons why people would want to keep their information private. And at least according to this whistleblower, Twitter is knows that they have serious security concerns and they're not addressing them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there are a lot of questions here about, as you said, either unwilling or unable and, you know, where each of those motivations may come from and, and, and what might be done about them. Absolutely. And I think it speaks to this larger problem that we have with big tech in general. These are large companies with immense amounts of power. Um, they've been able to uh, invade user privacy and they're largely unaccountable. Um, the community does not control the community standards on these platforms. And that's something that really needs to change or I think these problems are gonna persist. All right, anything else we should be thinking about when it comes to this whistleblower and these new allegations? Yeah, I think stories like this remind us of why whistleblowers are so important. Um, sometimes they, they tell us things that maybe we wish we hadn't heard but in a democracy, whistleblowers are needed. Um, we've, we've seen this lesson here with Twitter a couple months ago. Um, we learned that lesson with Facebook. Um, we, we've seen that with things like WikiLeaks. So whistleblowers are an important part of a democracy and we'd be wise to defend and protect them. All right, CSU East Bay professor Nolan Higdon, thanks so much for your insight on this. Thank you so much for having me. In a statement, Twitter said, quote, what we've seen so far is a false narrative about Twitter and our privacy and data security practices that is riddled with inconsistencies and, and inaccuracies and lacks important context.